Buffalo versus Lion, certainly one of nature's most epic battles. This particular one between a few young lions and a buffalo lasted more than 17 hours. These are completely spent, they are done. Um, ripped through the tendons in the back leg, so he can't walk. And um, like I said, it's quite a sensitive sight, but it, I mean, they're definitely think gonna get this buffalo. There's no doubt about it. We're watching, um, it's, uh, it's nature. Nature's tough, it's cruel, but uh, Lower Zambezi, incredible experience. I could actually hear their engagement and the interaction between the lions and this buffalo bull all the way from my camp at Old Mondoro. We decided to investigate at first light and came across the scene as you see it here right now. We had to wait several hours before any activity kind of emerged from the lions. They were extremely cautious. They were young and inexperienced and the oh, buffalo presented a very big intimidating target for them. As difficult as what it is to watch a scene like this, we decided to invest the time and to wait it out. The contrast of the peacefully feeding elephant in the background and the rather stressful situation playing out in front of us was quite interesting to see and watch. The young lioness, the only lioness in this group, was the first to make a move. She was rather bold and confident and after stretching and yawning, decided it was time to take on the buffalo. She was very cautious and rightfully so. She was probably a little inexperienced and in addition to that, one wrong move, the buffalo could end her life. Several hours went by after the little incident between the lioness and the buffalo. The elephant was slowly moving closer, still unaware of what was happening very close to him. Eventually, one of the young males decided it was time for him to take a turn, to try and see if he can subdue and possibly kill this buffalo bull. While one of the brothers fought away with the buffalo, the other just watched, rather cautious to get involved. Perhaps wanting to see how it turned out before he got stuck in there. Absolutely battered, bruised, broken. This buffalo bull put up an immense fight. The lions tried everything they could, but they just could not get this buffalo bull off of his feet. Incredible to see the resilience of such a powerful animal. Then, out of nowhere, the elephant bull suddenly became aware of what was happening. He moved in closer and almost sent the lions flying to the other side of the riverbed. Everybody was startled by the sudden appearance of the elephant. Even the elephant himself got quite a fright. Sadly, for the buffalo, it was merely a slight distraction for these lions. Now more than ever, they seemed determined. Even though the sun was hot, midday hours setting in, the lions now seemed desperate to try and end the life of this buffalo. Incredibly, this buffalo fought off this very strong and determined attack by the lions. 
Even so, that the Lions decided to go and rest. They had given everything they had within the experience that they had built up over their short lives to try and get the buffalo down. But I have no doubt this is not the first time this buffalo has had to face Lions. His determination to get away from the scene to be done with these lions was incredible and just again shows how resilient nature can be. He was badly injured, mortally wounded more than likely, but still would not give up the fight. By early evening, the lions had rested up for a few hours. Yeah. Okay, like the buffalo lying down, still head up, still very much a target for them. After a little bit of play and interaction, building camaraderie and unity, the Lions okay. regained their confidence and soon enough set back onto the task of killing and subduing this buffalo bull. These were young Lions full of life and confidence and taking down a buffalo bull would be a massive accomplishment for them at such young age. Perhaps emboldened by the fall of darkness, the Lions decided to try again. <laughs> They now had the buffalo where they wanted him from the very beginning, on his side. And yet still, their inexperience did not allow them to deliver the swift blow, the killing bite. You can see the lioness trying to grab hold of the muzzle, one of the young males on the throat, but the lack of experience just did not allow them to put this buffalo out of its misery. The fight just kept going on and on. Incredibly difficult to watch, painful, absolutely gutted to see the buffalo suffer like this. But nothing we could do. The lions grabbed hold of private parts anywhere they really could to try and end the life of this buffalo after nearly 17 hours. And that right there was his last bellow. The buffalo finally gave in to the lions 17 hours later. It was an incredible battle, not easy to watch. I don't have the right to intervene, as difficult as what it may be. In this instance, I'm merely an observer and I capture the experience to share. It was brutal every single minute of that 17 hour period. But the lions learnt and gained valuable experience and the buffalo bull fought valiantly. When we returned the following morning, the young lions were still lying up but had not yet opened the carcass. They were unable to and they did not have the experience and it was only until the following evening that the rest of the pride and pride males arrived that the carcass was fully opened and enjoyed. This buffalo bull was old. He was likely injured even before the lions arrived and had served his purpose. He fought bravely and the lions earned a hard fought meal. To play witness to this was absolutely incredible and a moment I will simply never forget. 
Thank you for watching this with me, as tough as what it may have been.